everybody. Mr. Slipcover Bullet Blake. I have my Scream Factory October 2022 unboxing for you today. Um, there are multiple, multiple packages. So let's just do one at a time, I guess. Now I've had this pack. I, I've had one of these packages for a long time. I've just been waiting until the other ones get here so I don't have to film multiple videos. But this one is the Halloween 4K collection for. I mean, not everyone's favorite Halloween movies, but two of them I do enjoy. One of them is awful, but now that I've seen Halloween Ends, it is not the worst one. It, it it's not even the second worst one. It. It's probably completely watchable at this point because Halloween Ends made me hate everything. So, artwork's kind of cool. I don't, I don't know if I'm a huge fan of it to be honest. I, I don't like that they released a box set for these three just to force people to buy Resurrection because nobody fucking wanted to buy Resurrection, and the people that did should have just been able to buy Resurrection. But they do this on purpose all the time with these movies because they want you to buy it because they have the rights for it. So fuck it. We'll make you buy that one in order to get the other two because you could not buy these separately, which is stupid. It's stupid, but still it's cool. If they were going to do this box, I think they should have put the first one that like one through five in a box as well. Then it wouldn't be so irritating to me because this is actually irritating to me. This box on the outside when the other five don't have a box is going to like, literally irritate the shit out of me when I put it on the shelf and look at it together. Like, obviously I have this side facing out because I mean, that's pretty fucking dull anyway, but still, if you're going to do one, do them all enough of a rant. Let's actually dive into these. So it doesn't help that this box is like super cheap and flimsy. And the fact that these all have rigid fucking cases, why? Why put it in this cheap, shitty, flimsy-ass box? I know why, because you wanted this to buy Resurrection. And nobody fucking wanted to buy that movie. I mean, I would have bought it just for just that completionist mentality, but I know a lot of people would have just bought, like, H2O or maybe even Curse, but... Cheap, flimsy boxes, not a good, good sales tactic as far as I'm concerned. But, The Curse of Michael Myers, that is awesome. I like it. I'm not going to say it's one of my favorite movies, but I enjoy this movie enough to the point where I would have bought it regardless of a stupid box. I, can't, I just can't get over the stupid box. But, again, these rigid slips are the shit. I still wish they would have done the Chucky movies the same way, but... It is what it is. Oh, it slips coming right out of this one. Yikes. What, what? Someone's going to have to do something about these, these cases because that disc falling out and it's just going to continuously fall out is irritating. I don't believe... Oh, they do have... Forgot. Got the original cover art in there. I'm not going to do that because I don't care. I'm just going to leave it so they are matching. But I do really dig like the thicker case and everything. I, I appreciate these releases. And I definitely wanted H2O. So... H2O! I mean, this is probably one of my favorite of the sequels. Not like, I don't think it's in my top five or anything, but I don't know, was it like 13 movies now? <laughs> we can just eliminate ends from the whole category, but H2O, I remember when it came out, I, like the young cast and everything, Josh Hartnett's in it, um, what's her fucking nuts? Uh, Michelle Williams is in it, Janet Lee, Jodie Lynn O'Keefe, love Jodie Lynn O'Keefe. But also, really fucking cool. Really stoked for these releases. I'm really just stoked for this. Um, 
Now this one only has two discs. So it goes to show how weak they found these sets to be. And it's got the original... original. I'll show it to you, but it's just like the original poster art. And I don't know. I, I, it's not as appealing. Like that's what was on my original like VHS back in the day. So I'm just going to leave them. H2O. Now the 4K, I have watched the other ones, the first five, and was really impressed with the 4K on those. So H2O, I love H2O. Let's just say that. Then we got this pile of shit. Yep, Halloween Resurrection that I know some of you were forced to buy just because you wanted the other two. It's just the way some companies operate. I don't know. This movie has very little redeeming qualities. But again, now that Halloween Ends came out, it's it's not the worst. That's just the way it is. Um, if you disagree, you're wrong. I'm just kidding. Uh, opinions aside, this movie isn't very good. But at least it's still a Halloween movie. Like, it's still a Michael Myers movie. Granted, he gets... The shit kicked out of him by Buster Rhymes, but still a Halloween movie that feels like a Halloween movie. And I'm not saying that it has to have Michael Myers to make it a Halloween movie because Halloween 3 is actually my favorite one in the entire franchise. But there's the Halloween. Like, that's, that's awesome packaging. Awesome packaging. I'm really into it. It looks great. I, I don't think I will ever buy these movies again. I've, I've purchased every release that's ever been out for fucking H2O. Uh, yeah, really, really satisfied with these. Not as satisfied with this. It also came with... Posters for each one, which I don't know if you've caught on, but I will probably be putting my H2O poster in a frame and hanging it because it's fucking Halloween H2O and that's like a movie from my like early teenage years that was just a staple for Halloween time. Anyway, oh, we got another package, another fucking package of awesomeness. It might have sounded like I was grinding on those Halloween movies, but I was going to buy them anyway. Regardless of the box, Shout Factory, Scream Factory, it was just the way it is. I'm sure some of you know what this is. The Return of the Living Dead in 4K. But bam, this is one of my favorite fucking 80s Zombie movies. It's I love this movie. I love this movie so fucking much. The Return of the Living Dead. They're back from the grave and ready to party. I'm sure everyone has seen this fucking movie at least four or five times. At least. It used to be played on TV all the time. This three-disc set, I could not pass up. Um, I did not own the uh, the Blu-ray release that they did. And I had just actually looked at it before they announced this at a store that was reselling it for, like, I want to say $97 or something like that used. But the slipcover is where the value was on that one. And I, I think that slipcover was better than this one because this looks like it's just the boring-ass old slipcover, which is kind of cool, but at the same time, a lot of their releases, like their 4K releases, have been those old basic-ass covers. Still, excited to see it in 4K. My disc is literally in there backwards. But you get the 4K disc, the Blu-ray disc, 
and the Blu-ray special features disc. Is there a reverse? No, there is no reverse on this one. So, you think they could have put like the reverse artwork that was on the original slipcover? Because that would have been cool and I would have switched it. Either way, Return of the Living Dead. Awesome pickup. Really happy with it. Can't wait to revisit it whenever I get around to it. And it came with the poster. Hell yeah. And last up is bum bum bum. Any guesses? Any guesses? Army of Darkness in 4K. Um, this awesome ass steel book. And yes, yes, I know it's a steel book and I don't buy those, but I have reasons. Anyway, this is cool. It has their own discs in there and stuff too. Like these, I I already had this open because I got this actually at the end of September, and I couldn't resist. I was trying to wait, trying to wait to watch it with um the other ones. Like obviously, I waited for Halloween and Night of the Living Dead to or Return of the Living Dead to get to my house and. They were super far apart, so it took a little longer to film. And I couldn't wait that long to film this. So I just opened it up and I watched it. I did do I did film an unboxing for that as well. But I didn't want to upload two October unboxings. I guess I could have called it September unboxing. But it wasn't technically supposed to be until October that I got it. And the Steelbook looks fucking awesome. And I'd love to say that the Steelbook is for me, but it's not. I definitely got it for somebody else. I actually picked up the regular edition with a slip because I need a slip. If this had come with its own like slip that went over top of it, I probably would have got that. But the classic vintage artwork on this as well is great. It does have um, different disc artwork than the steelbook does which is cool if you can appreciate that type of stuff it's one of my favorite movies honestly this is my favorite evil dead movie um i know a lot of people would disagree with that because it's more comedic or whatever but i love this movie i still remember the first time i saw this movie big big fan of this movie and i actually picked this one up for my brother because he's the one who introduced me to the world of the evil dead i guess when we were super young all the same that is all i have it did come with the posters too but i do not have those in here because i opened it so long ago anyways if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed subscribe and until next time have a good day